This video will cover the topic, Using Trigonometry to Find Angles of Elevation or Depression in a Word Problem. Before we begin, let's review some of the fundamental trigonometric identities. Say we have a right triangle with angle x. We know that sine of x is equal to the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse, cosine of x equals the length of the adjacent side over the length of the hypotenuse, and tangent x equals the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side. So we will need to know these identities in order to solve word problems. We will. Using these identities, we can solve word problems in which we're given two sides of a right triangle and we're asked to find the angle of elevation or depression. Let's take a look at an example problem. A 15-foot ladder leans against the side of a house. The bottom of the ladder is 7 feet away from the side of the house. Find x, which is the angle of elevation of the ladder. Since we want to find the angle measurement and we know the length of the adjacent side and the hypotenuse, we can set up a cosine equation, right? That's right. From here, we can substitute in our known values. To solve for x, we need to take the arc cosine of both sides, which results in x equals arc cosine of 7 over 15. Using our calculator, we find that the angle x is 62.2 degrees. Let's try one more example problem. A plane is 134 miles north and 161 miles east of an airport. Find x, which is the angle the pilot should turn in order to fly directly to the airport. In this problem, we want to find the angle of depression given the length of the adjacent side and the length of the opposite side. Which trig equation do you think we should use to solve this problem? I think we should use the tangent equation. That's right. From here, we can substitute in our known values and take the arctangent of both sides to result in x equals arctangent of 134 over 161. Using our calculator, we find that the angle x is 39.8 degrees. Okay, so when we are given the lengths of two sides of a right triangle in a word problem and asked to find the angle of elevation or depression, we can set up a trig equation that corresponds to the appropriate sides. From here, we can substitute in our known values and solve for the missing angle. That's exactly right. Great work!